Here we are doing a ridge preservation, first inspecting and cleaning the socket, then creating a pocket between the bone and the soft tissue, and in this case I'll be using a xenograft the BioOS collagen that I'm going to cut to pieces and place into the socket. I will cut the BioOS collagen into smaller pieces. The sockets are filled up to the bony walls. I then make sure that the grafting material is covered with blood so that it's not dry. If not, I would encourage bleeding. In this case, I'm going to be covering the grafting material with a material called Mucograft Seal. This I use mainly if I want to maintain the soft tissue thickness. Mucograft Seal comes in a sterile pack. It contains two parts. The, the main part is a spongy part and it has an outer thicker layer. And that outer thicker layer is like your keratinized tissue and the sponge is like your connective tissue. Now I'm going to shape it to fit the socket. And then just insert it into the socket gently without compressing it in. This material will soak up the blood from the socket. Therefore it's important that there is some blood in the socket before you insert this in. To place a figure of 8 suture, I basically go from one end, cross over to the other end, and then go to the other side and then cross over again uh, and make a knot at the buccal surface. You don't need to place any other collagen membrane on top of this. This can be exposed unless you want to put in a PRF membrane on top. I have gone through the distal buccal uh, part of the flap, crossed it over to the mesioplatal part of the flap and crossed it over. So now from the distal platal uh, part of the flap, crossing over to the mesio uh, buccal surface of the flap. I knot the suture together buccally, cut the excess off, and there you go, that's my figure of edge suture to keep everything in place.